Christy Mason. I'm doing a project today on the basics of smart board use for EDM 310 at the University of South Alabama. To uh, first use your smart board, you have to turn it on by pressing the button down here on the very left. I did that just a second ago because it takes it a, a good while to kind of warm up. Um, we then need to tap over here on the smart notebook icon to open up our smart board use. And it's always a good idea to go ahead and calibrate your smart board. When you calibrate your smart board, what you're doing is you're making sure that your pins are um, marking on the exact place that you want them to be. In order to calibrate, you mash the two buttons right here at the same time on the uh, front of the keypad. And this little X appears, and you're going to place your finger and release in the center of each of those X's. And what that does is it aligns all of the different areas here on your board. Whoops. Sometimes you'll even have a problem with your calibration getting off in the middle of the lesson and you have to stop and take the time to do this. And it can be a real pain, but it might be a good idea to go ahead and take the time before you begin each day and get it done so that it's on track. Um, now that we've got it turned on and calibrated, um, what I would like to do to show you how to work with text, to work with um, objects, is I'm going to come up here and I'm going to file, and I'm going to open up a daily calendar. And this one was used a moment ago. Yesterday would, of course, then be Thursday. You can just drag these over. Tomorrow will be Saturday. So let's go ahead and pick up a pen and show how we can work with the pen layers here. The students love to be able to be chosen to come up and pull these over as well. And then today's date would be June, and I believe it is the 30th, so we're going to do that 3-0 up there, and um, it looks like Miss Mason's already had a long day because my letters and numbers are all out of whack here, but you get the gist of it. So that shows you how you can drag your objects, how you can use your ink, and then uh, on today's weather, we're going to do something a little interesting. Let's pull this sunshine over here, because it's been pretty hot. Well, you know, let's just pull one. And what we're going to do now is we're going to work with cloning and infinite cloner. And we're also going to work with how an item can kind of fade in and out. So first of all, let's clone this little sunshine, infinite cloner. And what that does is, you see the little infinity sign up here? That means every time you drag this, you've got a little sunshine now. Okay? So, now what I want to do is... I want to make these object animation. Let's make them fade out. Well, yeah, let's make them fade out. Normal speed and when the object is clicked. And let's make it repeat. Can 
see how it fades in and out and it flipped twice. Okay. So now we've got that done. Um, you can always, if uh, say the bell rang, you had a fire drill real quick, which I doubt you'd take the time to say this if you had a fire drill. If you wanted to save it and finish it up later, you could always do file, save as, and then you could save your uh, daily calendar and come back and finish it later. Okay. And then another interesting thing uh, to do is to use your multimedia. Sometimes you might want to, um, let's see, let's come over here to Google Chrome. And I'm going to come over here to the keypad really quick and I'm going to type that you're doing a lesson today on UFOs and on the planets. Let's come here to maybe animals. If you were talking about monkeys and you were talking about a specific characteristic, you could always come here and work with, oh, owls, I love owls. You could always show that that's a barn owl because it has a heart-shaped face and uh, do things like that. And the kids love um, that you can continue your lesson while you're incorporating that ink layer to it. So that's just a basic beginning tutorial about how to use a smart board. And um, I hope you've enjoyed what I've been able to share with you of the little bit that I know today.